first link in the info box down below. Get your very own Swamp Family pop socket today. They are available in the standard pop socket and a mirrored pop socket where you can have one and two times mirror magnification. Get yours today, limited time only. Hey everybody, it's Bunny. Happy New Year! Did you guys just spend the last 48 hours also watching the Twilight Zone marathon? If so, you guys have to let me know what is your favorite Twilight Zone episode. Anyway, you guys, today is everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today, you guys, we are back again with another product called Lazy Lipstick. A couple of months ago now, you guys might remember a product that looked just like this, and I'm trying to open this one. I ordered another one on AliExpress, and look at what happened. The little lipstick is like not in there correctly, so every time I try, oh, look at that. <gasps> We're just gonna uh, horrifically smear it. Ew. All right, let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Do you guys remember this? You actually like, you know, shove this whole little thing in your mouth and you're supposed to apply your lipstick. Why, you know, you'd ever want to actually apply lipstick in such a deranged fashion, I don't know. But hey, I found another lazy lipstick. This time it's a lip stamp. And you guys have to let me know, is there a real makeup product on the market that's like this? I definitely have seen blush and I think highlighter stamps from the brand Kaja. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So I do know that stamp makeup products exist, but this just looks too silly to be real. I think that I paid about $4.99 for this on Amazon a couple of months ago. I cannot seem to like find a listing for this product now that is like available for purchase. Kind of weird. Once again, if you guys remember the lazy lipstick video, it was kind of a similar thing. I thought I was buying a certain product under a certain brand with a certain name. And then when I got the item actually in the mail, it doesn't say lazy lipstick. It's not the same brand. I will go ahead and insert a photo of the original Amazon listing. It said it was coming from brand in Injo Cho. Stamp lipstick, lip shape, lazy lipstick. Sometimes it's referred to as a lipstick. Sometimes it's referred to as a lip balm. So what is the color payoff gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. So this is the product that I actually got from the brand Kiss Fly, and this is actually called Seal Lipstick Fashion Color. Once again, all of these products were in shade names like R1, R2. Why did I choose R2? I don't remember now, but that's what we have. So this is what the box looks like. Very metallic, very lovely. We have three steps to follow. Step one, open the product. Is that a step? Open the product. Step one, <laughs> buy the product. Step two, press the lip of the seal lightly on lipstick. And then step three is to stamp the lips, the lipstick lips. This is kind of stamp the lipstick with the lipstick on the lips and gently open it. Open what? The top opens up here. And we have this kind of comically tiny lip shape stamp. Like how I don't even feel like I have like big voluptuous juicy lips. And um, I feel like this is smaller than my, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. I feel like it's smaller than my lips. Oh my God, you guys, that's a malenky bit concerning. This smells like crushed up Flintstones vitamins. Why? Then you open it up and I don't know if this product down here is gonna be like a powder or like a creamy kind of texture. I have been wanting to try powder lipstick for a very long time. Oh my God, you guys, my extensions are like... <coughs> okay, I don't think I can be Shrek today. Uh, anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, now I know where I was. I think that my extensions are popping out of my head, maybe just a little bit. And also, I've been wanting to try powder lipstick for a very long time. Have you guys seen that yet? It's like powdery lipstick. How does that, I don't, 
How? Uh, so let's find out together. What does it look like? Oh, it looks kind of disturbing. Is this turds? I can't tell if the product is a little bit turdy or just weird. Dare I, dare I look at that? Do I dare? I don't know. I, uh, I kind of want to dare you guys because this, once again, same as I said in the lazy lipstick video, these products constitute as fake makeup, which is something that I feel like I've been saying for years to you guys, don't buy fake makeup. It's not made usually in like safe or hygienic labs. So why have I suddenly, this is now gonna be my second fake makeup product that I try. I guess maybe because I feel like I'm just trying it and not actually wearing it, even though I am buying them on Amazon. So you kind of feel like, I, I kind of feel like a, a safety net when I'm buying products on Amazon. Don't let it fool you because this is basically like a drop shipping thing. So even though I did buy this on Amazon, I might as well have bought it from like AliExpress or Wish. Oh, what is that? I really can't, oh, just like, oh, it's maybe a, maybe a red colored turd, I don't know. Ah, she's got turds. I went into like full on Dana Scully mode and I got my little, I have one of these little like microscope, magnifying glass, microscope. I, what is it? I don't know, I've got one. So I just wanted to take, you know, quick little look before I rubbed it all over my mouth. Uh, Cause like I said, I know people are maybe thinking I'm being a little bit dramatic and maybe I am, you guys know I am a germaphobe, but there seriously was a couple of years ago, like an entire documentary done on fake makeup. And a lot of people actually talked about like really unfortunate chemical burn, chemical reaction type experiences that they had from using fake makeup. So like, you know, it's a fun video and all, but better safe than sorry. Now what I'm gonna do is just like isolate whatever this thing is. I like scraped whatever that stuff is. I just wanna be able to like get closer to it and see like, does it have legs or something? I don't know. So let's see if we can see. And you know what I'm realizing now that maybe it'll break apart as I'm scraping it off. That was maybe kind of dumb, you guys. I don't know. I couldn't get that close to whatever that was. Yeah, I guess that's gone now. It was close enough to the side that I couldn't like evenly place the microscope down there to see like, I, cu I couldn't get it focused, you guys. Uh, but it is actually like stuck in this bobby pin. So let me just see really quick if we can see is that, do you guys see that? It's like that weird shaped item there. It does look 3D. You guys, this video has taken such a weird turn. I think now what I'm gonna do is use a different lipstick of a similar texture that I have, but I feel like a lot of you guys would like to still see the color of the product and like maybe the texture. So I do have some of these little disposable wands. Actually like a really pretty color. Feels pretty creamy. So I just MacGyvered up this little kind of lipstick palette really quick off of uh, the back of a ball jar that I sanitized. And then I did just go ahead and clean the sponge with kind of one of my holy grail makeup area products, which is the Dior kind of spritz on brush cleaner. I love this stuff for like quickly sanitizing both sponges and brushes. Let's take the sponge and press it into this shade of lipstick, which I feel like is pretty close to the shade we just swatched. And let's see, okay. So, I mean, it did pick up kind of patchy, but I feel like we almost can't judge that too much because I am just, you know, I, it's a ball jar. Um, so I'm going to keep just adding a little bit more product and I'm trying to get like a nice even coating. I feel like that looks pretty good. Now let's give it a good old stamp. I'm going to really get nice and close and personal with you guys. Let's give it a test. So that's a... Uh, just the touch and go application. I feel like I'm doing, like this is one of those moments, right? Where you're like, oh, you're far away. And like, wow, that looks great. But then you get up close and like, literally, I look like Queen of Hearts from uh, Alice in Wonderland. I couldn't think of it. So let's just zero in on this beautiful stamped application. 
So now what I'm gonna go back and do is just see, can I perfect this a little bit more by just like repeatedly pressing it up to my lips or is that gonna make it messier? Oh, <laughs> I really did not mean to do that. I wasn't trying to be funny right now. I mean, it is kind of just hard because this area, they should have honestly made the topper out of clear plastic so you could see where you're about to stamp down and press. I mean, it's kind of the same as like a craft stamp that's not on like a clear acrylic block or something. You don't really know if you're like lining up the stamp properly because you can't see what you're doing. Because I'm trying to like match up the lip shape to that area of shape on my lips, if that makes sense. I'm trying to use like the corner of the stamp on the corner of my mouth. Ah, okay, I feel like the product is like a little dried on there right now. Yeah, um, I feel like maybe these are all the reasons why this product is like not really on Amazon anymore. And actually I feel like it's not that much on AliExpress either. What's going on here? Is it still on Wish? I don't know, I haven't checked. Um, but yeah, it is really difficult to work with. I don't know why products like this are referred to as lazy. It's definitely not easier. It's not easier than just like applying a lip liner, a lipstick, a lip balm. How would this be faster? or easier than just like cranking out a tube of lipstick or using a wand and just like going like that. I mean, even if you just took this applicator, put it right in the center of your lips and then, you know, just kind of spread the color out like that, I feel like that would be much, much easier. I don't think there's anybody's lips that is this small or this exact like cartoon lip shape. So you're not just gonna be able to go like, bam, oh, bam, you know, it's, it's not gonna be that simple. You're still going to have to, you know, get out a brush or one of these like disposable wands or something and go back and clean it up. So if anything, I think that this would take more time, more effort. Once again, I'm kind of like, how do products like this come in existence? Also, the fact that this is a pretty, um, like you guys once again saw, like the product that came with it was like a very deep, vibrant color. So I feel like when you're working with a product like that, like if anything, you have to be more careful and cautious with it so you don't get an application that looks like this and um honestly i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see but the actual product itself did leave a little bit of a stain so i don't even feel like it would be something where like oh even if you kind of do like a messy application you can just go back and like clean up the area super quickly and like woo, you know it's still like easier to apply and clean up and all that anyway this as it stands is just silly like I feel like maybe products like this are designed for like an internet age. So people will just like see it in like a viral video or something and then buy it for themselves and try it. But just from like a true practicality standpoint, I don't understand how stuff like this gets produced. It's eye catching, it's goofy, it's fun, but it's not really like that usable in my opinion, I guess. It, it reminds me of those TikToks where the product starts out and it's like a total joke and it's like, the design is very human. Even though it is relatively inexpensive, it's only like $4, save your $4. I feel like you could take $4 and go to like the Dollar Tree and definitely find way better makeup there that is like actually more practical and useful. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. As always, let me know all you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. And as always, don't forget, uh, links in the info box down below will take you guys to Swamp Family Pop Sockets, also my Snapchat show that I upload every Monday and Thursday afternoons, and of course my TikTok, which is at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!